Nah, but for real though, look. All right, cool. Check this out. If a, all right, it ain't got to be Ghana, right? Let's Ghana. talk about this because, you know, most California motherfuckers that's born and raised here don't want to move. <laughs> for niggas like, look, 100,000 moved to Atlanta tomorrow. Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah, 100,000. No. <laughs> but you can also go out there and create the same opportunities you have here in Atlanta, if not more. True. So what's holding you back from going to Atlanta? I would probably go to like... It's more opportunity out there for you as a, as a black entertainer. You think so in Atlanta? Most definitely. I would say probably like New York probably. As a black rapper in the entertainment business? I would say New York probably. In New York? I would, you, I would say that. What do you think is in New York that's not in Atlanta for you? More of the podcast. There's not a lot of podcasts in Atlanta. But I mean, you know, you could go out there and fuck around. Kyle and all them out there. True. They doing it out there. Uh, is that stopping them from being great? No. I, don't, I mean, so it's I, not like you're making excuses, bro. Honestly, you can go anywhere and be great. My whole thing is just family and shit. Uh, okay. Yeah. So you don't want to leave you don't want to leave the bird nest. No, it's not necessarily leaving the bird nest, but you act like Atlanta is gone, bro. It's three hours away. It it would have to be a great opportunity. You feel me? You that much of a mama's boy, you don't want to leave. No, it's not even no mama's boy stuff. It's just nigga. What? Having my kids, having a, a new scenery, having to change their lives as well too. Like it's a lot of it's a lot of shit to factor. What if it changed for the best though? Yeah, for, it's for the best. If it, if it's for the best, then I would do it. I, if it anything's for the best, then I'll do that shit. I feel like, like you, for I sure. Feel like you holding back, bro. Nah, nah, no. Nah. I feel like this is the first year I. No, see I feel like you carry your life to OT Genesis, not your kids. Like you gotta move to, and go crazy. President Pun is talking. <laughs> I'm cooking right now. Yeah, that's are. definitely not cooking. That was President. Uh, about to get bad. Look, he don't like that. Yeah, that's no, no, that was funny. Look. No, I'm trying oh. to think. What? Bro, that was stupid. That was stupid. No, I would. Go ahead, cut. You got the floor. Don't worry about that. No, Man, we just if it's if it's podcast. if it's for the better, then I would leave for sure. For sure. No, I like I like Atlanta though. Atlanta's nice. You would move to Atlanta. I would. I would. That, that would be if I was to ever leave California, it would be to Atlanta. Or I would go to Phoenix. Uh, yeah. What? Phoenix is developing pretty nice though. They, they call it Baby I LA, say that. but Bro. It's starting to pick Atlanta's up even more. fucking nice, bro. No, I agree. I feel like for you, it'd be better to go to Atlanta. You got like a lot of plugs and shit out there and shit like that. As far as what you're doing, you feel me with the black noise and shit, but I don't know. You think you can just get up and just take your whole family? Yeah. Do Atlanta have a, well, a podcast? Uh, yeah. What popular podcast do they got? Carson Nett. Oh, okay. app niggas. They in Atlanta. Oh, I thought that was New York. No, but he's from New York, though. He live in Atlanta. But they in Atlanta. Uh, True. Okay. Okay. True. Got it. I don't know. I consider that shit, though. I think New York. I think probably Houston as well, too. Yeah. I don't know. Shout out to Texas, man. Some great spots in Texas, too. Yeah. But Atlanta, for sure, for black entertainment, bro, it's great out there, bro. There's a lot of opportunities out there, for sure. For right, Especially, like, you being an artist, too. I'm just saying, if I was to, that's going back to what I was saying, if I was to move, it would be to Atlanta. If I was to move. But I love California. And that's bro. the only place. I love L.A., bro. I love out here, bro. No, I love out here, too. But like I said, it's, it's all a family thing, bro. I can't move in New York. I, I would stay in New York for, like, Periods at a time, but I couldn't live there permanently. New York is like complete opposite of LA, bro. I get homesick it's where like, I go anywhere. It's complete opposite of LA. Like it's this fast pace. You know what I mean? It's a lot of walking. It's nigga, like a lot of people don't drive cars, like subways. We don't do all that shit out here, bro. Yeah, that shit is I, different. I thought LA was fast paced. We went out Hell there. No. I was like, shit. LA, nigga, we lazy compared to New York. And yeah, that's facts. Mile a minute. Them niggas be moving. No, everybody move. Everybody take a subway, too. Fact. I don't know, though. That's a good question, though. Uh-uh. I like Atlanta, though. But I like like, if it like, was, like you said, if it was something they're like, oh, yeah, we got this bag for you over here, yeah, then I, I would have to take that shit to better my kids' life and shit like that. Yeah, Atlanta's nice, bro. It's, a lot of, like, it's nice, bro. It's affordable. You know what I mean? A lot of culture out there. A lot of opportunities. A lot of bang for your buck. Yeah. Because like, like I said, on the East Coast, there's a lot of black businesses out there, too. On the East Coast, though, I can go do five fucking popping podcasts and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, other than the amp niggas, like, I don't really see nobody over there. Like, but that's like, that's like, how 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 many times we want to do that shit? 
You want to move to New York just to do Joe Budden show every fucking other day? Nah, I just feel like, like, like I just feel like that's the man. No culture out there for you though. It's a lot of business people though. I'm just saying, bro. You talking about with your family? Yeah. That's not like moving with your family to New York is not where you want to move. Nah, that's family. not an ideal place. What has the dynamic changed when you went to New York? It's cool you can go do these podcasts. No, but he right visitor. though because I don't feel like. You, you I don't feel like there, family vibes change. when I'm in New York City. Hey, these the type of nigga that's gonna move to New York and wanna live in a city. He gonna wanna live in Manhattan. Yep. Yeah. Nigga trying to move with a family in nah, Manhattan. Nah, and it's not and that's not gonna work. Them, them spots little as a motherfucker. They expensive as a bitch. You gonna have to get a brownstone. All that shit. And brownstones cost. Shit. Then, then if anything, Texas. Then I like Texas. Yeah. You can get you a nice ass house in Texas. You can still do all the shit. Texas. Yeah, There's yeah, still yeah. a scene. It's popping. I would, I would fuck with Texas on some like you know, on some other type shit. Not on some Atlanta shit. Like Atlanta just got like the entertainment culture out there. That's all I'm saying. Now Texas, if that's like where I would retire at, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like nigga, I just want to be cool. But I do feel like right now the state of Los Angeles, like this shit ain't other than family, ain't nothing out here right now. This shit ain't the same. L.A. is beautiful. No, it's beautiful, but I'm talking about as far as like I love it out here. The opportunities and shit like that, especially for like nigga new no, artists no, no, and shit no, like that. No, 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 this is you got. Listen, homie, nigga, this shit is what you make it out here. True, you know what I'm saying if you want to sit on your ass all day and think results gonna fall in your lap, nigga, you about to be in for a rude awakening, bro. Facts. Good luck. You know what I'm saying you got to get out here and get it. Nigga. But that's anywhere. That's what I like about New York, though. Like New York, you gotta get out there and get it. You gotta hustle. Yeah. That's why. That's the one thing I take from New York. Shout out to all the New York niggas. They got hustle, bro. Like, they get out there and get it. Like, that's the same shit. Like, over here, you got to have that same attitude. We a little more spoiled, though. You know what I'm saying? Because we so? ain't... Huh? You think so? Hell yeah. For sure. No, we super spoiled in L.A. For sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. Just, just with everything, though. You go yeah. other places and shit like that, but other motherfuckers think... They be like, you know what? They think our shit ain't the same way as they shit is either. Cause they be like, ain't no hating in LA, ain't no this. I be like, it's the same shit. You're gonna yeah. get, you gonna get you gonna run into adversary and shit wherever you go. Yeah, so LA it really don't matter. Like, huh? I said LA is treacherous, cuz. Yeah, for real. That's what I'm saying. But people think everybody fuck with each other out there, everybody this. I'm like, no, it's not, nigga. This shit is not like that. It's very segregated. This shit is Yeah, I mean, our shit is just super gang culture out here. Like gang culture hold us back from a lot of opportunities. But I feel bro. like Atlanta, Absolutely. Atlanta's the same shit now. No, with no, gang culture, no, nobody got more gang culture than LA. No, nobody got more gang culture. This but if is, it was a number two, embedded in our nigga, great, great, great. But if you like, had, a, if you had to put it a number two place, it'd probably be Atlanta right now with the gang culture. Nigga, nowhere compares to. LA. I said if a number two, number one is LA. What nowhere would number compares two be? to LA. But you can't, you what would number two number be though? Two, you can't compare Nowhere to like compares LA to LA, bro. bro. I feel like Atlanta just as bad with that shit now. Nowhere compares to LA, bro. No, I'm not saying that nowhere has gang culture. Yes, you niggas have gang bangers in your city, but this shit been going on so long out here. Like this, this shit, shit been is going on since the 70s, this shit is in bro. everything we do, bro. Like everything we do, bro. This shit is embedded in there you some think. type of way. Niggas that don't gang bang still not finna wear certain hats. Like this shit is yeah, True. like our you know shit's sick, bro. Them niggas out there ain't thinking about that shit. They they gonna put whatever hat they. Oh no, they said Chicago, on. but that's not Chicago. That's not gangs. That's different. Them like niggas, our gang bang. Them niggas is fucking warriors. Yeah, that's, that shit is different. That's, that's different. different. Like we talking yeah. about gang banging, blue and red flags. Like yeah, it's it's, it's different. Crazy. Like but, you have to be from here to know what the real game banging is. Like people yeah. think game banging is just saying cuz or blood. Like nah, nigga, it's a way of life. Like gang gang banging is a way of life. And out the here, politics bro. is way different. And that shit falls in. And everything. I feel like Chicago don't really got politics yeah, like that. It's, not it's just, a bunch of young niggas. It's not just Crips and Bloods. It's Mexicans. It's mm -hmm. Asians. It's Samoans. Armenians. Like, it's all kind of gang bang culture out here, bro. That's yeah. go crazy. And this shit been going on for years, bro. For years. So it's like. Yeah, it's, it's gang, gang like culture everywhere else, but this shit is like sick, bro. It fuck us up in business for sure. It's a lot of niggas that won't work together in nothing. And something because as simple as shit. like, oh, I can't do this event because this nigga going to be there. And they're not even gang banging no more. It's just, oh, this nigga, yeah. nigga. You know what I mean? My cousin killed this nigga. When they, it's just like, it's crazy, bro. They be holding us back, bro. Hell yeah. Like, nigga, that shit weird, bro. I be like, damn. That's why a lot of artists don't collab on the West Coast. They always like niggas need to collab and more. And people don't understand that shit. I'm like, niggas nah, need to travel more. 
Like niggas, our mentality is fucked up for traveling. A lot of niggas don't want to travel because mm -hmm. they're like, nigga, I can't go nowhere without my burner. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that shit real. Or the homies. Yeah. Like nigga, I need my niggas. That's how burner. fucking traumatized niggas is, bro. Yeah. Niggas like I need a burner to go nigga, wherever I go. It's a gang. I got homies that don't go to fucking. They won't go to Hollywood, let alone go to another state. Yeah. Like that shit is crazy. Some of the homies ain't never nigga, niggas ain't going past the seventeen. No, that's 91. what I'm saying. Like, nigga, Vegas is nigga as far as niggas will go. Yeah. They gonna go out there and do the same they shit. And do the same shit. Turn yeah. that bitch up. Mm-hmm. That shit is wild. Yeah, yeah we gotta wild. get yeah, niggas gotta get out that mentality, man. No, that ain't happening. It's not, that yeah. shit ain't never happening. It ain't never gonna happen. It's it's too late. It's too late to change it. I know niggas one day we could talk that kumbaya shit like, oh man, nah, nigga, it's never gonna happen. let it go, but that shit ain't never leaving, bro. It's never gonna happen. It ain't never leaving, dog. Nah. It'll have to be something crazy. It's never leaving, bro. Never. It's so watered down now compared to what it really was in the 90s and all that shit. Oh, for sure. It's just like, damn, dog. Eventually it's gonna play out, but it's still gonna proceed. Like, it's still gonna go on, though. Yeah. Because it's played out to us now, but we older, though. Yeah, exactly. And then we always like watch the older homies like get older and talk to us how we talk to niggas now and be like, yeah, yeah you just an old nigga. You not in it no more. Right. You know what I'm saying, Dizzle? Once you remove yourself from that shit, it becomes like, oh, it's played out. Like, no, nigga, it's still alive it's still and dwelling. It's going crazy right now. It's still only cracking. These young niggas you just not out there way. with the, you're not in the trenches yeah. no more. It's still yeah. going. It's still going. Yeah, that. Product of our environment, bro. You watch the difference now raising your kids out here. Oh, for sure, for compared sure. Compared to raising your kids. And it's like, we we looked at that shit like, nigga, you from where? You from the valley? You was a nerd. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, real shit. But it's like, damn, nigga's parents was really trying to raise them and show them a better way in life. Yeah. Which is, you know the, which is the right way you want to go and shit like that. Yeah, but we didn't look at that. No, no, for like sure, that. for sure. You know what I mean? Nigga, look, that's like you said, like, you grew up where? I think you grew up where, nigga? You yeah, but look, but look at the mentality of, of, of us as people, though. We'll look at somebody and down them just for that. I mean, you know. 